Hello everybody, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and this is tutorial 272 in our little hack and slash tutorial series. I guess it's not quite a uh, little anymore, but uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and open up Unity. And the thing I want to work on today is actually getting the name to face you, so your mob name. So let's go ahead, we'll run up to the mob and we want it to face the camera. We always want it to be facing the camera regardless of where we are. I guess I should disable this here, make it a little bit easier. But if we go ahead and we move around the character, uh, making sure not to get within its range to aggro, uh, we notice the name just doesn't face you. And even when he is looking at you, uh, the name isn't right. It's backwards, so that's what I want to fix in this tutorial. And it's not that hard to do. Uh, let's go ahead, we're going to open up the mob class. So let me just go ahead and find that script. All right, and um, so we'll have to come down to the start. Right here is where we're actually getting a reference to the um, that that name component where we actually display the name. I'm going to have to move this up here because I'm going to want to access it in another method, and I don't want to have to go ahead and get it again. So let me see, here's where our class actually starts. I'm going to go ahead and throw a space in here. And I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to set this to false just so we get rid of that display, the GUI display. And right underneath it, I'm actually going to move uh, part of this. Uh, there we go. Um, just deciding if I want it to be public or private. I'm going to make it private because I don't see a reason to expose it. I don't think I'll ever want to grab it outside of this script. I'm actually going to leave one more line here. And then come in. I can shrink that down now. Uh, let's get rid of this here. A little bit of cleanup over here. Let's add some comments. Just so we know what's going on. Find the name uh, component. If it does not exist, uh, warn and return. And if it does exist, uh, change the displayed name to what we want. All right, so nothing has really changed except we moved this up here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this part. Whoops, I accidentally hit my, um, uh, my little mouse pad there. Uh, let's go back up. And what I want to do is actually cut or copy and paste this part. And I want to come down. I don't believe I actually have an update function yet. I usually put it right above on GUI. No, I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. So public. Actually, we can just do void update. Oops, space in the wrong spot. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. So all we're going to do is check to make sure that display name does not equal null. So basically that we, we do have it. And of course, if we don't have it, we're still going to throw that warning out and return. So basically jump out of here real quick. But if we do have it, what we want to do is call its look at function. So we're going to do something like display name dot look at. And you'll notice here you have four different options that you can look at. Uh, let's see if we can get through these. Can't click them. There we go, up and down. So you have uh, the ability to look at a world position, either the transform target. Uh, well, we can go through all these if you want. The one I'm going to use is the transform target. And that target I want to look at is actually our player camera. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our player camera. 
and it's called player camera. So we can actually go up here and make a reference to it. Now we only ever have one player camera in our game. So we don't, and we could have like multiple mobs in the game. So we don't want to have, you know, let's say we had a hundred mobs. Uh, we don't want to have a hundred references to the exact same object. So what we're actually going to do is make it static. So static, uh, public game object. And I'm just going to call it camera. And by doing this here, uh, the first one that actually finds uh, the camera, all of them use the exact same reference. And I'm going to come down into start and we're going to find it here. So basically, whoops, I keep hitting that touchpad. So let's just move it out of the way. So let's just go ahead and actually cut and paste this in. So now we're going to say camera. Actually, it's completely different. So, well, not completely different, but a lot different. So we're going to say find the player camera. And what it is is just camera dot. Uh, let's see, it is a game object, right? There should be a find. I was pretty sure a game object had a find as well. I'm sorry, it's camera equals game object dot find. And we're gonna use the the string here of the name, which is player camera. And you have to make sure you have the casing right. So I'm just gonna check here. I have capital player, capital camera. Now, if I were actually going to be using uh, this in multiple spots, maybe I want a bunch of other scripts to be able to reference the camera, I'd probably want to move uh, the string into our game settings too, and make it some sort of constant. But right now, I can't think of anything else I'd want. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw it here. So we'll come back down here, and we're going to make sure that we have a reference to it. Uh, we should have a reference. If not, we're just going to get some sort of error. But if we do, uh, so if camera uh, does not, oh, well, let's just say equals null, then I'm just going to return. And we could also throw another debug log out there too. And we should. That requires parentheses now. And we're just going to say could not find the player camera. Cannot find the player camera. And now what we want to do is actually look at uh, the camera, but the, not quite. Well, to make this easy, I'm going to break this down into a two-step process. So first, we're going to look at the camera. And you'll see that that's not going to be quite right. Uh, we are going to get some errors off of it. Oh, so not errors, but it's not going to be looking exactly the way we want. It's going to actually be 180 degrees wrong. And just to keep things simple, I'm just actually going to make another line where we actually rotated 180 degrees. And I thought I turned that off. I'll have to check again. But we come in. We notice it is now rotating so that it's always in view. But it's backwards. So let me go back in and let me just come up here. I was going to get rid of the define up here. Uh, right up here. So we'll go on to the next line. And we're just going to say display name dot rotate. And again, there's a lot of options here, but the one I'm going to do is, uh, I guess this first one. So new vector three and the rotation. So I want to uh, rotate zero on the X, uh, 180 degrees or negative 180 degrees, whatever you want. I'm going to use 180 and then zero. And that should do it. So let's go ahead. We'll start that up. No errors. So we're going to go ahead. We'll run in. Keep running towards our dude. 
And we'll notice already, if we watch up here, the name is rotating. Let's move it a little closer. Uh, I do have a low resolution. I record in 720p. Uh, but if we come in and look, whoops, I got a little too close. Uh, but the name always faces the camera. Now it'd be better to, the font I have is not the greatest because it's a little blurry around the edges. It'd be nice to pick one up that has uh, maybe a nice black uh, outline around it. But for now, that's fine. But as we see, it's always facing the camera. And that's what we wanted. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to get another quick one out there for you. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see uh, more of these videos as they come out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.